guys, Bob here again, and I am doing you another little uh, unboxing, and I will also show you it in use uh, later in the video, and it is this, it is the NPOW Streambot Mini Bluetooth 4 Music Receiver. Now I've actually already opened this because I was sort of intrigued as to um, these things, because uh, I mean, over the last sort of few years, people have started sort of well, I mean, I've even known people actually throwing out old stereo systems that don't have any connectivity in them because uh, people obviously are leaning now towards uh, speakers that have connectivity so that they can sort of play uh, music off their devices around the house. And with this, you wouldn't need to throw it out. You know, a relatively cheap device like this. Now, what intrigued me most was the box turns up and it's this sort of size and I'm thinking, that looks quite a big device, you know, that's going to sort of stick out like a sore thumb. However, when I opened it, I was actually quite surprised at how tiny it is. It really is a small and very light device. Now, it is all plastic construction, as you can see in here. Um, you've got two button buttons on there. Uh, one's your volume up and volume down, and it's also a track skip for when you want to listen to music. And if I just take these off, just got some little plastic skins here. I will get hold of it in a moment. There we go, I've got it. Let's peel that off. I mean, that is actually on quite tight. But underneath, you've got this lovely glossy back finish, which, yes, it's going to be dust and fingerprint magnet, but you know, there you go. You've also got your play button there, play and pause, and that's also for turning it on. And if you look there, you've got a three and a half millimeter phone jack. And I'll show you that in a moment as to why you've got that. If I just unplug that. Right, so there you go. So as you can see, it is a very small device. I mean, it's what, it's approximately two inches by a little over an inch the other way and getting on for maybe half an inch thick there. So, let's open up the rest of the box, see what else we get, and get a little assortment of cables here. So we've got an extension lead here, so you would put one part of that in there, the other end would go into a three and a half millimeter on, uh, say, a home stereo, or if you've got one in your car, which is where I'm gonna show you it working. Um, you know, you can plug it into your car stereo system as well. And you can also receive calls on this. So obviously, I mean, obviously there's no microphone built into it, but you will be able to hear the person on the other end through your speakers. The other bit that you get is you just get this smaller one, which makes it, I suppose, a little more sort of, it stays around the hole rather than being on, a, on an extension cable. So you would just plug that in and away you'd go. And then you also get this, which is for charging it. So you've got standard USB to mini USB on that end, and that's just for charging up from the port in the bottom. Uh, as soon as you get it, you stick it on charge, and it's, uh, I believe it's, um, what is it, it's an hour and a half, that was it, hour and a half to fully charge it. And I'm just wondering actually if that is maybe a little microphone there, because I know there is a little LED there that lights up and tells you what things are doing. So I'm just wondering now if that has actually got a microphone in it. But anyway, that's uh, by the by. And then of course you just get a little uh, instruction manual, tells you how to pair it up to your phone because it's, uh, like I say, it's Bluetooth 4. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it outside and do it in the car, because that's uh, readily available for me right now. And uh, we'll see it working there, okay? Okay guys, so here we are in the car, and I've got it here now, I've got the actual uh, extension one put in because it's going to be easier to show you, um, I think normally I would probably use the, uh, the little short stubby one, but, so let's have a look anyway, um, now what you have to do is we turn it on, so we press and hold that, and we get the flashing blue and red, I don't know if it's actually showing up on camera, 
and then if I go into my iPhone now the iPhones normally connect to NPAL stuff very quickly without um, any messing about so Bluetooth settings I've already got one NPAL there, there's another one it says not paired I don't know if you can see that okay so if we that's Ford Audio, yeah I've just realised I'm in, I'm in my daughter's car actually uh, there we go and it says connected so we are now connected to this device and as you can see the light has changed to a slow blue flashing light rather than the blue and red fast flash flashing so let's get this plugged into the auxiliary which is around the back of there I've already got the stereo set to the line input and let's see what we can do hopefully it will work through the car speakers and I believe it is Listen to the fat beast. So, so there you go as you can see that uh, seems to work a treat and I'm assuming you'll be able to use all your sounds in it basically interested in the so. uh, great guy you should give him a follow and take a review he's got a YouTube channel and everything check so there you go that's one of my earlier videos so anyway there you go guys that's uh, basically how it works so obviously you can plug this into any old uh, sound system and it works a treat I mean you've got uh, actually it's a single quick press on these and that uh, forwards backwards your track a long press alters your uh, volume on it uh, you can receive and hang up on calls using that or obviously the button on your thing now obviously the first time that you um, I'm going to just turn that off so obviously the first time you actually connect um, you have to choose it from your um, the pull up list on your uh, phone uh, for the device that's connected so that you can actually use this uh, to take your call and obviously you can just use that button uh, which makes sense obviously I mean making a call uh, there is a way, no, then I think it was a long press on this, or was it a double press? Uh, yeah, I think there was. I think it was a double press on this uh, button here, and um, actually takes you back to your uh, previous call. So, to keep legal, that would be the way that you would have to make calls out on it, uh, otherwise you're having to touch your phone, which of course in this country is illegal while you're driving. So there you go guys, um, I think it's a great little device actually, um, it's another take on Bluetooth headset. Um, so yeah, don't get rid of those expensive old um, sound systems which actually realistically pump out some great sound, some of, the, some of them. I mean I've got an old Technics uh, sound system kicking about and um, you know things like this make me think twice about throwing it out you know I mean I've just I've just gotten rid of a load of old CDs because I just don't listen to them anymore so you know this means that uh, anything I've got uh, MacBook or on my iPad or anything like that it means that I can listen to it uh, in full surround sound because it's actually a surround sound my technic system so uh, yeah leave some comments underneath guys tell me what you think you know, would you buy this rather than uh, go out and splash out on a new uh, expensive uh, Bluetooth connection system so that uh, just so that you can listen to music? Leave your thoughts underneath. Okay, see you guys.